Welcome to the Art of Living podcast. I'm Zafar Majid, and today we are going to talk about how you and I can be the movie star of our lives, and the way we become this movie star is to ensure that we become the Oscar winning, award winning movie stars of our life. But before that, I would like to request that you subscribe to our channel, press that uh, subscribe button and you will be getting future notifications of programs and uh, more programs like this are planned and some very great interesting content is in pipeline for you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Let's talk about what a good movie consists of. First, a script, then some great movie actors, then a director, a producer, uh, cameras, and uh, no movie would be uh, complete without an audience. So imagine you make all a movie, you've got the budget, and you've got a script, but then nobody watches it. Then what's the whole point of making a movie? So every movie has to have an audience. So in our movie, we've got all these ingredients, you and I, we are the actual star. So in our movie, we are the main star and everybody else around us plays a role. Some people play a main role. Some people play the role of a villain. Some people play the role of a friend. Some people play like character actors. These are people who come into our lives and they go and we forget about them. Let's, let's be honest. There's people who have come in our lives. Maybe we worked with them in the past. We've studied with them or we've just briefly had an interaction with them at an event, but we forget about them. But the people we do not forget about are the ones who are living with us, maybe our spouses, our family, our close relatives, our work colleagues. And even work colleagues change when you change your career. And uh, what is a script that you are following? Yes, movies have different genres of scripts, comedy, horror, action movies, these type of different genres. In our lives as well, we have comedy, we have horror, we have action, we have our ups and downs, we have climax scenes, we have sort of a, a build-up of tension. So we have all those ingredients in our life as well. So like a great movie has a beginning, a middle, and an end, our life is like that as well. When we are born and in our sort of infancy, that is the beginning. Then when we are in that sort of peak of our lives, when we are growing up, we're getting married, we are building our business, our career, that's the middle part. And the end is when we die. Yes, we don't like talking about death, but it is a guaranteed inevitable part of this plot, this script, we are going to die. So let's analyze all these things one by one as to how to ensure that we have a successful life to ensure that we become the award-winning, Oscar-winning movie stars of our movie. So our movie, there is a director. The director should be the one who directs us as to how we should be making this movie, what we do, how we act, how we walk, how we behave, and that is our beloved messenger, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He is the director of our movie that we should be watching. What are the cameras in this movie? The cameras are the angels that we have on the right and the left who are recording every single good and bad deed of our life. So these are the cameras and what is the script? The script is the Quran and Sunnah. That that is the script that we should be strictly following if we want to have a successful ending. So the Quran and Sunnah is our script. And the audience is no other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is watching our movie. Every take, every clip, every moment is being recorded and is being watched by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
and the ending is the most important part. How the movie ends is the most important part that would ensure whether this movie is a super hit or it becomes a flop. And what do we mean by that? If you have successfully lived your life in accordance to the Quran and Sunnah, then your movie will be a super hit and you will win that award of Jannah. And if your movie is a flop where you've not followed the director, you've not followed the script and basically at the ending is so bad that you will then be awarded the eternal life of the hellfire by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who is the one who grants the awards at the end based on his own fuzzle and mercy, his own discretion. And uh, we have to just try our best because we've been given the resources to make this a successful movie. And I just want to just very briefly touch upon, you know, between the, uh, the beginning and the end in the middle, what happens in our lives that will ensure that we have a successful movie. For argument's sake, when you're growing up, many of us will be attracted to the things of this life. There'll be the temptations for a man it is woman, for the woman it is the men uh, and the attraction of the money, the gold and the uh, sort of riches of this world. Some of us will be attracted to the name and fame, the political office, the power. So many people start off in their youth, maybe the nafs, their base desires causes them attraction to things like the opposite gender. That's perfectly natural, there's nothing wrong with that. As long as it is fulfilled in a halal way in accordance with the Quran and Sunnah. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created those desires inside of us. So we cannot be held guilty for those desires. But what we will be guilty of is if we fulfill them in the haram and lawful manner. So it's the same as our attraction for wealth. Perfectly normal. As long as you do not fulfill those needs unlawfully by earning illegal unlawful haram means to accumulate money and feed your family and towards the end of time there'll be many people who will end up in the hellfire because of their closest loved ones and that's an astonishing thing to say and hear that how can a person's own loved ones be the reason for their entry into the hellfire. Let me explain. A man will go to work, he'll have a modest, low income, maybe he's earning 300 pounds a week, 400 pounds a week, in this current climate where the cost of living crisis has uh, you know, taken things out of people's reach in terms of affordability, his wife will have a demand upon him that she wants to have so much jewelry, the children will want the latest games and the toys and the latest sort of designer clothes. His, perhaps his parents will have their own demands. They're living abroad and they're asking him to send uh, financial support. He'll, there'll come a time when he'll be holding his head in his hands and thinking, how am I going to fulfill all these people's demands? And he's going to come to a stage where he will want to travel on the right path. But then he's going to say, I have to do something to shut all these people up and to create ease and relieve myself of this pressure to hell with it all. I'm going to now earn unlawful earnings to fulfill everybody else's needs. These are people of his own family. He will be going out to earn haram to fill their, fulfill their needs. And these are the people who will be sending him into the hellfire and that is happening all around us if we look that people are now not distinguishing between lawful and unlawful earnings because the pressure to keep up with the Joneses as I say where they have to have the big house the big car and maintain a high standard in society even though that they can't afford it just look at our weddings that alone will be a separate topic we'll talk about that uh, on another time that how we are spending excessively just to show other people and we are committing haram but we don't care 
because we have to maintain a reputation in society. So going back to that original point of being the movie star of your life, this is your life, this is a, your movie. So your life is your movie, where on the day of judgment will be played on the big screen, where you will be able to see from the start to finish how you lived your life. And that's the day of the awards ceremony where you will find out whether you get an Oscar for your performance in your movie. And that Oscar is the news of glad tidings that if you have succeeded uh, based on the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you will be awarded the entry into Jannah. And if your movie has flopped because you did not follow the script of the Quran and Sunnah, then you will be entering into a miserable life of eternity eternity in the hellfire so going back we need to ensure that our movie plays out as we should based upon the quran and sunnah and as directed by the beloved messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam so this message for myself and yourself is we are stars we are stars of our movie so we need to make sure that we do become the award-winning, Oscar-winning actors of our life. So that's all for today's program. Don't forget to subscribe to get notifications for future programs. We'll see you again. Allah Hafiz.